In this video, we'll show you how to use Power Pivot Slicers. Power Pivot Slicers help me with my analysis by controlling what data appears in my pivot charts. Slicers are one click filtering controls that narrow down the portion of a data set shown in pivot tables and pivot charts. Slicers can be used in both Microsoft Excel workbooks and Power Pivot workbooks to interactively filter and analyze data. Let's add slicers to the profit percentage by category pivot charts that we created in a previous video. Click anywhere inside the pivot chart to display the Power Pivot task pane. Next, in the Pivot Chart Tools area of the Excel ribbon, click Analyze, and then Insert Slicer. In the window, I find the Dim Date table, and then I select Calendar Year and Calendar Month. Under the Geography table, I select Region Country Name, and then click OK. The slicers I selected appear and I move them so that I can see them all at once. Only three years have data, so I format the calendar year slicer to display only the valid years. I'd like to display all options in the Region Country Name Slicer, so I right-click and select Size and Properties, and then I highlight Position and Layout. In the Number of Columns drop-down, I increase the columns. By default, slicer items are displayed in alphabetical and numerical order, with items with no data displayed last. To change this view, right-click the Calendar Month Slicer and select Slicer Settings. Select Descending to see the most recent months first. Click OK. I continue to fine-tune the display and formatting of my slicers. Now that my slicers are arranged and formatted, let's use them to analyze the pivot chart data. First, I'm curious about category profit by year, so I slice my data by one year at a time. Looks like sales percentages for most categories remain stable, except for computers and for cameras and camcorders. Share for cameras and camcorders declined while computers increased. If I dig a little further, I find that cameras and camcorders had the highest profit share in the latter months of 2007. I continue exploring the data and discover interesting facts and trends that will help me make intelligent business decisions. Now that you know how to add and use slicers to analyze your pivot chart data, I recommend viewing the other Power Pivot video tutorials, including using slicers with pivot tables. For more information on slicers and for help with other Power Pivot tasks, please visit us online and check back as we continually add new documentation and videos. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.